The one positive thing I can say is that even if the bad guys win, uh, for me, the bad guys are Republicans. Um, even if they win, they still lose, right? Because, like, you want to see what life is like under Voldemort? You, you really want to see what it's going to be like when abortion's illegal? You really want to see what it's like when your kids don't get health care? I live in Toronto. We get free health care here, so I don't really have that problem. But... You know, if, if the Republicans take over, then I see them invading Canada at some point, like a complete dictatorship. We're all in danger. The whole planet's in danger. But I don't have any kids, so I mean, I don't really have that much to lose. I mean, I'm doing all I can, which is just, you know, for a nobody. I'm trying to post on YouTube to make people more aware, or make fun of the, of the tyrants. Um, but... Nobody's going to be happier. <laughs> it's like when you got a friend who's got an abusive boyfriend or girlfriend. It's like, okay, stay with them then. Watch what happens. You know, and then five years down the road, ten years down the road, they figure it out. And, well, you know, <laughs> it's your own time you're wasting. So, and watch the kind of rebellion that's going to go on after if the republicans take over watch the rioting watch see the thing is they're eventually going to have people becoming violent towards them these politicians if they take enough rights away from them so when they think that violence is the answer it's only a matter of time until and another thought was that if Trump really wants to be a dictator like Mussolini, then maybe he wants to be dragged through the streets naked like Mussolini was. Maybe, because I, I do believe that every sadist at heart is a masochist. So I, I think that Trump, deep, deep down, he wants to be humiliated and degraded and pissed on. You know, dragged through the streets naked, all of his pride taken away from him. I think every bully really wants to get kicked in the balls. And they get frustrated when they don't. Another thought is that uh, they say uh, Caesar. He wasn't that brave when he marched on Rome. Because back then, he, he was in his 30s, and back then you're at the end of your life. So Trump had nothing to lose. He's at the end of his life. So he, he really has nothing to lose. Um, there will never be another Trump because, you know, fool us once. They're going to change the laws so that a, a game show host can't run for president. Like, they're, they're going to have to change the rules. And that's one thing. Another thing is that Trump was already a celebrity before he got into politics. Whereas most politicians, their dream is to be celebrities. And so, and again, he had nothing to lose. He, he was running as a joke, so he was just offending people for fun. Like, whereas these, these other people, these other, like, Lindsey Grahams, they are, they are, they're indebted to, they're, uh, they're on the leash of, of people. They have a lot to, to be afraid of. What does Trump have to be afraid of? Being sued? He's already been sued a million times. Anyways, so the thing is, you know, do your worst, all of you Trump Trumpers. Watch what happens. Have your civil war. See how it feels. You know, take a shit. Get it out of your system. Then repair your country and you won't be... A superpower anymore in the world but it'll probably be like what Germany was like where they were like a shame they were ashamed of themselves the world was ashamed of them um, everybody judges Germans still to this day that's the way it's gonna be for the States yeah it'll be very much like I say give it 10 years they're gonna have to apologize they're gonna have to give the keys to the car back to the world <laughs> because they, they were irresponsible dr drunk drivers.